What's up, guys? Welcome to Visualization. Nestor Aliancen here again. Quick question: Do you analyze trends at work? If so, you definitely need to learn how to perform running totals in Power BI. So let's get started. For today's tutorial, I have three different points. The first point here is about computing running totals in Power BI. We're gonna learn some concepts there. And the second point here is about the useful DAX functions for this tutorial. Very important this topic as well. And finally, guys, I have a nice case where we're gonna put everything into practice. So let's go to the next slide. Computing running totals in Power BI. Two things here. So the first one, we need to remove any filters from the calendar table. For this type of tutorials, for this type of calculations, we're gonna use a calendar table, okay? The second point here, the computation of the running total requires a filter that retrieves all the dates prior to the current date in the filter context. So now let's go to the next slide. Okay, so what are the useful DAX functions for this tutorial? Calculate is huge here, okay? So we should be familiar with this function. If you guys are not familiar with this function, I'm gonna share a link as well so you can explore more about the syntax and everything related to calculate. So the other function here is filter, and the other one is all. And finally, we also have the max function here. So highly recommended, please be familiar with these functions, okay? So now let's go to the next slide. Case, so the question that we have here is, find the premium running total for the first three years of data available in the claims table. So let's do this. Let's go to Power BI Desktop, okay? So here we are in Power BI Desktop. I'm gonna share with you guys as well this report so you can have it as a reference. But what we have here is basically a matrix right here on the left. We have already a chart and we also have a slicer. So remember that the question was to find the running total for the first three years of data available, right? Before we go into the details uh, real quick, it's really important to have a calendar table. I call it dates table as well. It's right here. So you need to create a calendar table and it's right there. And this needs to be related to the claims table. If we go back to the model here, we can minimize this piece. See right here. So we have right here the relationship already. Date based on date column. For the calendar table, it's based on date. And also for the claims table, it's based on claim date. And the date format is also the same. Single from many to one, that's how it works. So no changes here, we cancel this. This is just as a reference, okay? Let's go back to report here. So now we can start solving the question, right? So if you guys see, there is another table here called DAX measures. So I already created these two measures. The first one is premium amount. So it's basically the sum of the collective premium, right? Here it is. And the other measure that I have here is the premium year to date. So my previous tutorial was about year to date calculations or period to date calculations. If you guys haven't seen that tutorial, highly recommend it. I'm gonna share with you the link as well. So the next thing that we wanna do here is the following. We need to create a new measure for the running total. So how do we do this? Quite straightforward, right click here, new measure. And we're gonna call this premium running total, okay? So we're gonna use a calculated function. It's right there, I'll enter. And we're gonna use here the premium amount measure. This is the first expression. Well, the only expression that we have for calculate, comma, and then, and we're gonna use here filter, okay? Then remember that we need to remove any filters for the date table. Remember that? So we need to use the all function here. And for this case, this should be dates because we call the calendar table dates. There you go. What else? So the other filter here is the following. 
So we have right here the dates table with the date column there, right? So this should be less or equal to the max value for the same column, okay? This is gonna be date as well. There you go. And then I'll enter, close parenthesis, I'll enter, close parenthesis. So this should give us the results, right? So let's see how this thing works and let's approve this change. So the next thing that we wanna do here is just to add a comma as a thousand separator. I like that. And then let's drag this into the matrix, okay? So it seems like this is working perfectly, my friends. But there's something odd here. We have we don't have data here and we still see the results. We need to clean our code here, okay? But we can do it later. So another thing here, because we have already another measure, which is premium year today, how about if we drag this into values? This is just as a reference, okay? So basically what's happening here is, if you guys can see the first measure, we have just the premium amount for a specific year, right? And a specific month as well. And that's what's happening for all years. And also if we take a look at premium year to date, so basically every single row is being added, right? And then in the end, we have in December, the total year to date for 2010. Right, that's what's happening here for this column, for the premium year to date column. For the premium running total, so what's happening here is the following. The first year in December, so it's basically the same, right? If we compare premium run total to premium year to date. But if we take a look at next year, 2011, so this is something interesting, my friends. So right here, so we keep adding values, right? See, in December, we had about 72,000, right? 72,550. And then basically in 2011, in January, so what's happening here is we are adding these values. This value right here plus this value right here. And that's why we get 76,540 right here for January 2011. And this keeps going, right? Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And finally, in April, I believe is the last number that we have, right? And for some reason, like I mentioned before, we have empty values, but we're still getting results here. We can solve this later. So basically the formula guys is working. So now if we take a look at this chart, the results are based on premium amount. How about if we change the measure here? Let's change the measure real quick and let's select premium running total and let's see what happens. See right there? So it's basically, we are seeing all the values, all the cumulative values from 2010 up to 2018. See, that's how it works, my friends. And remember, the question that we had was, we need to have the running totals for the first three years. So this is what we can do. Hold down control and let's select 2010, 2011 and 20. 12. There you go. So this looks better. So that's how it works, my friends. That's how we compute running totals in Power BI. So before we leave, I have a really nice tip here as well. Remember that we saw, uh, if we remove the filter here, just, this is just something extra, okay? This is a bonus. So remember that we only have data up to April 2018, right? But we're still seeing running totals, which is the same value right here for all remaining months for 2018. So we can fix this. How do we do this? This is how we do that. So let's go back to the measure that we just created, which is premium running total. And right here, we're gonna use a condition, okay? So this is gonna be if, If this is equal to zero, so the result 
should be this should be blank okay if not we need to get this measure so do you know what i'm talking about here yes so we can rearrange this better if we want as well there you go let's approve this change and let's see what happens boom my friends check this out this is awesome see right here so we only see data up to april 2018 and we can also do the same for premium yet today right if we want and that's it guys that's how it works i hope this was helpful for you and let's select just 2010 11 and 2012 right here because that was the question right there you go so what do you think so far my friends do you like it do you find this quite straightforward leave your comments below leave your questions below and i will make sure that i go over them okay so let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there all right guys that was it if you found this tutorial helpful you know what to do please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial